Good morning from the beautiful Chiang Mai, Thailand. How are you guys doing? Today I prepared a very nice video. As you know, or if you are new here, you don't know, we are traveling around Asia, Southeast Asia, for over a year. And trust me, we learned a couple of things that we cannot wait to share with you. So when you are here, you know how to save some money, you know how to go by in a very easy and smart way. Are you ready? Let's go! The number one hack, cash money. We've been traveling Southeast Asia for over a year and Thailand is the country which charge you the most for withdrawing. Yeah, we are talking about 5-6 euro per withdraw. So keep that in mind, cash here is king and you're gonna need it if you don't wanna lose money just like that. While we talk about cash and currency exchange, in Thailand every corner you're gonna see a currency exchange. You can either change your money there or you can go to any banks and they will do the currency exchange for you too for a very decent rate. Now you know, once you land most likely you're gonna need internet data. So let me tell you a secret, don't tell anyone. Do not buy your package at the airport, they have these tourist SIM cards. They are so expensive, I'm talking about 5-6 times the price which you would pay if you just walk in in a normal network and you purchase your SIM card there. So do not fall for that because you can get very cheaply out of the airport. The airport has a very good Wi-Fi, so use it until you get your accommodation. We use True SIM card and I can tell you guys, it's super reliable, super affordable. Sometimes we don't even use our Wi-Fi to stream Netflix or watch movies. It's fantastic. So that's my recommendation regarding data and SIM cards. I'm talking, talking, talking. I bet you guys are getting hungry. So let's talk about food. You know, Thailand is the queen of street food. Do not miss it. I know if you've never been here, it can be a bit of shock. But trust me, it's healthy, it's safe, it's hygienic. So go for it, enjoy, because the best food is out there on the street. You won't regret. And if you don't feel that comfortable eating on the street, you can easily go to the shopping mall because the prices are almost the same as a street food outside anywhere. And you know, we understand that our stomach is not prepared for this kind of food. We did have Bali Belly, but in Thailand, since we are here, we never had any problem. We are so happy and we are not seeking for Western restaurants. We are so happy to try every day a different night market or just a different type of dish, which they have plenty to choose from. I have to say, Asia without a motorbike is not Asia. You cannot enjoy fully if you don't ride a motorbike. So if you are planning to come over, please, please get your license, come with all documents prepared. Do not just come here and say, ah, oh, I think I can ride a motorbike. It does not work like this, guys. And in Chiang Mai, it's a bit more chill, but if you go to the south, it's plenty of tourists over there. You're gonna get stopped, you're gonna get fined, and there is no mercy. The policeman will stop you and will give you a fine, which can go from 500 to 
thousand bucks. As I'm walking here, I just bought a 7-Eleven and man, I'm gonna tell you, there's one every single corner. There's no way you're gonna miss it. So they have a very competitive price. They are open 24 seven, so win-win. If you would stick around for longer, I would definitely recommend some local markets, but if you are just passing by, don't waste your time. If you are thirsty, just pop in there and grab your beer. This hack is gonna go along depending for how long you guys are staying in Thailand. Let's say you are staying for a longer period of time. You select the city, you go online, you check the usual, booking.com, Agoda and find hotel. Once you select that accommodation, drive there and visit yourself. Why I'm telling you that? Because once you are there, they can drop you the price because they don't have to pay the commission for any of those platforms and they would be willing to deduct from your price. So it's a win-win, not even mentioning that you get a chance to see the accommodation for yourself because sometimes what you see on the picture is not a reality. So take that in consideration and your life gonna be way easier over here. Let me share you something what happened to us. While we were here, we were riding a bike and then we parked. We see lots of bikes, we just parked. But man, that was a trouble. Our bike got chained and then we had to walk to the police station and pay a fine. So learn from my mistake, don't do it. If you see on the sidewalk, red and white, red and white, do not park because they are gonna chain your motorbike so you're gonna have to go to the station and pay the fine. Until you don't pay, they will not release your bike. So yeah, it sucks. I learned, I will never do it again. And I hope you, by watching this video, you will not do that too. Here we go. This was a learning curve, a learning experience while we were traveling. And I can tell you, we did lots of mistakes. We've been through loads. And I hope with those tiny advice and hacks, you guys gonna have a better experience here. You're gonna save more money. You're gonna enjoy it fully without any stress. If I miss something, please comment below. Let's help the other ones watching here. You know, everybody helps each other. Let's share the love. And if my hint, my hack helped you in any way, also comment down below. I would be very happy to see that I helped someone. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next one.